And we look for Vander. Vander, Vander, Vander. Holy moly, this hand is not great. But we can trade this away. And if we can find Vander early and get some of the other things, we don't really need the Forge Fiend, if that makes sense. Like, the, the main problem that I have with this deck is the fact that the win condition with the um, Amulet of Undying, a lot of the things are minions that don't have taunt, which can be definitely a bummer sometimes. Kill that off, we'll pass. Nothing crazy to do here. We'll play this a little bit later on in the game. We'll probably play Identity Theft. I'm surprised he did that. Coin Wild Growth, probably, and then he's going to play the 4-mana 3-2, and then he's going to play Guff, and then he's going to play Miracle Growth. Am I a prophet or am I a prophet? Now, hold on. Now, hold the phone. Okay, and I'm down for a Miracle Growth as well, I guess. That could steal Denathrius. That would be massive. That would be crazy. He's only got four cards in his hand. I have to steal the, oh no, I wanna steal theater. And then I wanna steal the Nathrius. Call of the grave, I guess. It's not really that important. And then we'll play it next turn. And then next turn after that, we're gonna go Master Bueller. Then we steal the Nathrius. Now we steal the Nathrius. We've got better than a 50% chance to do it. So let me have my moment, please. I just didn't want him to be able to steal it right back. We're gonna play Call the Grave. We're gonna pick like the worst one possible. No, actually you're pretty good. We could go with Mira, but we're gonna go with Korak. And we're gonna go with that. And maybe we can give him Korak, I don't care. Please, oh, I didn't get him. I didn't, oh, I got him, thank God. Mm, let's go, okay. I don't even care about Miracle Growth at this point, man. I really don't. I mean, I don't want to give him Miracle Growth, but I don't want to give him this either. And I don't want to give him Zyrella, but I guess I give him Miracle Growth because the other two are like genuinely really important for me. Holy moly, dude. That's crazy. Crazy. What? Oh no, dude. Wow. That is not good for me at all. We can Shadow or Death it and then save this. Sure. We'll do that and play another Korak and hit him in the face. This is... We're so good at this video game. He doesn't have theater anymore, and he doesn't have Denathrius. We win, or at least we have a chance. We're not gonna get otk Oh, oh, that's gonna OTK, my dude. Okay, that's not great. Uh, we'll play you, we'll run in, we'll see what happens. Well, that was unfortunate. It's okay, though. You know what? We got pretty lucky with the whole Denathrius thing. That could have gone better. Obviously, it did not. It's okay. We'll play more Forge Fiend next turn or something. I'm not sure. There were two. There are. I mean, statistically speaking, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven good Death Rattle cards, and there's one, two, three, not good ones. So it's like a two-thirds chance, and you can't honorably kill them. It's not even worth killing them because they pump up Denathrius. Yes, keep it going. Let's go. Boom. Shadow Word Ruin, or Shadow Word Death, is pretty good. We can we can play that and kill it, for sure. We could also take the Amulet of Undying and try to trade that away later, and just trade, trade, trade. Yeah, we'll just trade, 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 it's fine. Um, let's see what we get. If we get the 2-2 with Rush, that's insane. Eh, it's not great, but we'll trade these in. Not honorably kill, just keep pumping up Denathrius. Infinite value Denathrius. Let's go, dude. Woo, woo, woo. I'm so excited. This deck is so much fun. I mean, I'm having a load of fun with this deck. It's crazy. I would save one shadow for devour or for devour. Oh, thank God. He heals back up. I forgot. I don't know. I don't really need to sit. Oh, he gets to honorably kill it. No, 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 no. no. Oh, that's so sad. So much for infinite value. I guess if I play Zyrella, honestly, playing Zyrella at this stage of the game doesn't even feel that bad to me. No, like it it, it feels really good here. Cause you get to get a ton of Korax. It'll trigger at least one, two, three, four times. We'll get two master revealers to get some copies of minions, which could also be really, really good. We'll trade first and see if we get anything better. 
Let me play this. And we get Master Veiler. Mita's pretty good. Korak's good. Another Korak. That healing is, you know, it's fine. Another Korak. Okay, I'm really hoping for an Undying Disciple. Damn, that was unfortunate. I guess it could be worse. I mean, he trades in a little bit here. Wait, you're getting him to four? Oh, you have scale of Anixia, don't you? Damn. Oh, Starfish? Weird. Weird that you Starfish there. It has to be scale of Anixia, though, right? What does he do for four? Wait, what? Denathrius is getting pretty big. Two. Oh, wait. Oh, what? yeah. Okay, that's fine. That's actually pretty cool for him. I respect that. It's only, it's not even gonna, it's only gonna kill off like a couple of dudes. It kills off the 4-2, 3-2, 4-4, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's 9 damage, it still sticks. And we pump up Denathrius even more. Have you done ever a day playing standard against viewers? Not really, I have not done that before, but that doesn't mean I would be against it. He's waiting way too long to do this. Does he have the time? Wait, what? Why would you not have killed off wait what we play the forge fiend and we hit him for five and we hit him like this 21 damage would not have been enough to kill him but it might be enough damage to kill him next turn especially if some of these things die i mean he could mutanus and maybe eat sire denathrius which would really suck the question is do i have the value to beat him i think i do i really do think i have the value to beat this guy oh I messed up really bad. I don't think I messed up that bad in a while, but I forgot about the Devourer. I completely forgot that was a card and I might have just thrown the game for myself. Which, you know what? I deserve. What the fuck? Well, to be fair, even if he had gotten smaller minions, I don't think it would have really mattered. I really don't think it would have mattered. We kill that, we kill up the 2-1, hopefully we eat something. We eat an explosive fucking sheep. That was so anticlimactic, but it's okay. We still have some pretty big minions. We've got a good amulet of undying potentially in the near future. Well, not in the near future necessarily, but he silenced my Mita too. Okay. Miracle growth, I can rush into that with the general. Yeah, he gets basically infinite value out of the whelps, and there's not much I can do about that. I'm gonna be honest. I mean, Denathrius is gonna be a pretty big play. And we still have that. And we still have the ability of getting a really big Amulet of Undying play. And we got decent removal. We've got the uh, needles, which can actually kill off at least one more board of things. I forgot about the Devourer. I need to remember that they run the Devourer. I mean, to be fair, he would have gained maybe 11 less armor, but he'd still be at like 40 HP, which is a lot, which is a lot of HP to be at. And I'm thinking he's running out of resources, no? Would Denathrius eventually not just win me the game? The fact that he lost that's not that big of a deal for him because it's basically a dead draw anyway. You got Shadow Word Ruin as well, which could be good at wiping off some pretty decently sized minions. He plays a 6-6, six, six, that's fine. Then he gets a 3-3, three, three. I'm okay with that. I don't want to use my Shadow Word Ruin yet, but I also think that it might be correct to do it. I mean, that is a pretty decent board flood, but killing off his 10-10. We got Mita, which is kind of cool. We can do this and then play Mita. Boom. And then play Mita. Rest Potentially infinite value off of them. That's only 13 damage. I can play Denathrius if I need to to bring it back. I don't have another Shadow or Death though. And so if he plays another Devourer, that could be really bad. I Oh, I'm not going to heal up off of this at all. You know, to be quite honest, as bad as this looks, I actually don't think it's that bad. We can kill off the 10-10 and a 3-1 and another 3-1, and Mita gets shuffled into my deck, which is decent, and if we can draw a Shadow Spell like Thrive or Devour or Identity Theft, that's pretty good. I actually don't think we're in a bad spot. Like, we're not a great spot, obviously, but it, it could be worse. 
This is really bad. I don't think this is really bad. I think that we're actually in a, like, I think we win. I genuinely think this is a win. Like, we can kill this off. We don't even have to play Denathrius to do it. We get Devouring Plague, which is literally what I said I needed. Boom. Boom. And then go Devouring Plague. The board is wiped and we heal up a pretty decent amount. He's got another scale of Anixia, but I can play Denathrius to deal with that. And then if he does eat it, if I get a Stoneborn General, it's definitely not GG or anything. Fine, deal some damage, doesn't matter. We still got Denathrius in hand. Sentries, that's fine. Look at the tiny turtles. Blah, 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 blah. Who cares? I don't care. Ran? I mean, that doesn't matter. He's just setting up so that way I can't wipe his board with Denathrius, I think. But we're gonna have to play him this turn. I mean, do we have to play him this turn? We could let him be board locked and we take 15. No, because I feel like there's a way he could potentially. I think I play Denathrius, though. I really do. I think it has to be Denathrius. Kills off everything, does 10 damage. He plays Devour. I double rush into the Devour with the General. And then, yeah, I knew that was happening. Just don't play a Taunt minion, I guess. Scale of Anixia doesn't matter. We double trade in, and we can kill these off soon enough. Devouring Plague's not bad. Hit, hit. We can play Devouring Plague next turn, like I said. <clears throat> and it'll wipe the board. He's losing to fatigue. I take 12 damage, but I heal up a decent amount and then also have the hero power. That draw does basically nothing. I just need Devouring Plague to hit that one time. And then all he has left is, I think, a Nourish, a Composting, and I'm not sure what else. Amulet? We'll see where these hit. Okay, hits that, which is perfect, and then that goes off. I think I trade. I'm gonna be greedy, and I trade it away. We'll play a 5-6. He's got Nourish, Composting, and oh, and another one of those left, but he's doing that for the Rush minion. Oh, you double rush in. Oh, but that doesn't matter. I just kill your 3-2 and watch you slowly die to fatigue. The game's over. Oh my god, we did it. I mean, don't get me wrong. Warlock is extremely strong. But at least I get to play the game. We're also going to keep removal because I'm assuming it's going to be Imp Warlock, which means we need to fight for board with spells a little bit. But like every deck has an OTK or some gimmick or it steals win conditions or it perma freezes you. It's just, it's so frustrating. And I don't, I don't know. I don't want to put out a video about how the meta is, is bad right now. I really don't. But I was really hoping after the nerfs and everything, things would be better. I was hoping Kael'thas or Denathrius would be nerfed. I was hoping, um, I mean, Imp Warlock and obviously that I was hoping would be nerfed more. I was hoping the disruption from Shaman would be nerfed. And yeah, you, they nerfed the freeze, which is cool. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not upset about them nerfing the freeze part of Shaman. I just don't want to have the bird and Nutanus and Theater eat most of the cards in my deck. Like, it's just, that's what happens. And it's very frustrating. And I'm trying not to completely lose it right now. But it's hard. It's hard to not lose it. We'll play uh, this. Kill off some of the 1-1s. One and then we'll ping the 3-2 uh, the so we don't waste an extra durability of the needle. I don't even know really what I'm looking for here. Something playable, obviously. I think Pops a cooler to freeze a little bit could be good. And that would be a nice one to reactivate later on down the road. So we'll take that. I don't know. It could be an interesting video. And I'll try to not be as heated about it as I have been in the past. I've been kind of heated about these things for a bit now. So the question is, do I want to... Well, we'll trade this away first. And then we'll probably just play Thrive and get it back and then trade it again. Yeah, it's cool. Or we take other Thrive. So that way we can A, activate it again, and B, maybe find another spell later on down the road that could be helpful. Amulet when dying, I do like upgrading, but I don't think it's actually going to be a win condition in this matchup. I think the win condition is going to be wiping his board just one extra time, and that's going to be it. So we're going to take Thrive, 
so we can use it next time to try to find a Shadow Word Ruin or a Shadow Word Death to kill off one big pumped minion. You seem convinced that rogue players get the game changed by complaining? If that's true, there's no reason why you and your followers can't do the same thing, no? Well, that's because... What? No, it's because Blizzard favors Rogue. That's the whole joke behind that thing. It's it's Blizzard loves Rogue, and they don't want it to ever be a problem. Also, the Rogue players cry the absolute most of anybody. Um, except Zeddy, who complains about everything, but he rightfully does it. And I actually like the fact that he voices these things, because it makes it feel like you're not the only one feeling it. Oh, gosh, it sometimes feels so bad. Uh, anyway... I think we just go Devouring and then play this. Actually, we don't even need to play that. I like your videos and stuff, but it's kind of annoying to watch you complaining about the decks or the meta every time. I think Hearthstone is really enjoyable right now. I mean, I disagree very strongly, and you're entitled to your opinion, man. As I'm entitled to mine. Damn. Okay, that was a little unfortunate. I was hoping it would split it, but I, I should have expected that. That's okay. We keep going face. We have actually the potential to do quite a bit of damage with the void shard if we keep hitting his face here we could actually maybe just straight kill him Let the ritual of okay that's gonna give him dragged below twice but i don't think i care that much that's not great but we can rush into that and just keep pushing face with five what a delightful part. we hit this we push face for five we can trade i technically should have traded first but it's not that big of a deal Honestly, Imblock is probably the most refreshing and fun deck from this expansion as a zoo archetype that can actually contest control decks sometimes when you know the mulligan. I kind of agree. What does this give me? Oh, that's a pretty good one. I don't know. It's weird. It's it's a hard thing to discuss, I guess. And it's subjective, too. Like, I can be so completely convinced that I'm right. And yet other people are like, I feel this way, though. And it just, it's wild that we could have such different like opinions on the state of the game and everything that's going on. Like, I think Implock is probably, after a couple of days of playing, has become like my favorite. Oh my gosh. Wait, it chooses completely randomly? Wait, that's so bad. I thought it, oh, Dragged Below doesn't say hit an enemy minion. Oh my gosh, wait, I did not realize that. Oh, and he gets to heal up a bunch. That's kind of bad for me actually. That was well played. I respect that. That was well played. I take nine damage. I don't have nearly enough to kill him. Shadow word. Okay, so we can go boom, boom. I'm down to keep this. We kill that. We kill this. We go face for eight. We get him pretty low. Denathrius is a smite, but charges damage in hand. Yeah, like that's what I... That, I, I think, is the thing that I don't understand the most. How everybody could be so upset about certain things in the game, but then just, like, turn around when, like, Denathrius does the same thing they were complaining about, but it's more accessible in more classes. And it's an OTK, so you just, I don't know. 